Hello watch fan, coming to you straight in the middle of a tropical rainforest here in Malaysia. Today I'll be reviewing the RV8 Hawker Harrier Retrograde Chronograph. Hope you enjoyed the video and here's a quick view of where I'm hiking today. Hope you enjoyed the video. The watch has a rather large diameter of 45mm, a compact lug to lug of 54.6mm, which is some serious lug to lug, a thickness of 12mm and a lug width of 22mm. It being a square watch makes it wear even larger, so this, this is most definitely a watch that caters to those who like large watches. It has a water resistance of 50m, which is quite standard for an aviation or pilot's watch. It has a mineral crystal with AR coating which is a little bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping for sapphire. Aviate mentioned that the case is made from marine grade stainless steel. There is a black coating on the case, but I couldn't find the method of coating. And after quite frequent wear for the past month, there hasn't seemed to be any chip to the coating yet. And I have actually accidentally knocked it a couple of times against doors and rails. However, unless it has been deliberately hardened, I do expect it to chip after a couple of years. Design is pretty subjective, but Aviate does distinguish themselves and is known for its aviation-inspired theme. The clue is in the brand name. <clears throat> the watch and frames for the subdials are clearly modelled after the instrument panel and cockpit of a plane, and in this case, specifically the Hawker Harrier, a military jet that first entered service for the Royal British Air Force in the 1950s. It is a very legible dial, with clear applied white indices, and hence against the grey dial. I do quite like the pop of yellow on the second hand as well as all three subdials. A 24 hour subdial allows you to tell whether it's AM or PM. The date window is at the controversial 430 position, which in this case I don't mind actually. At least the date is white to match the markers. Ah, the watch is given to me by Aviate for review. However, I'm given full right to express my opinions on it. I'll be totally honest and frank with my review here. So hope you take that into consideration as well. Also, um, just as I was hiking, I just came across something really interesting and I've never seen it before. You can see it here. I actually believe that this is a skull of a long-tailed macaque, which is a kind of uh, monkey. So, well, back on to the review. Aviat says that the movement is a Japanese quartz chronograph with 10 minutes retrograde and date without going into the model type. So it is a rather limited chronograph of only 10 minutes, but the retrograph minute timer is really nice. Showing you guys how it resets to zero after reaching the 10 minute mark, which reminds me of classic analog fuel gauges. Honestly, it's really cool. The pushers are unfortunately not really tactile. There isn't a click when you engage it, and you have to look at the chronograph seconds hand to know if it has been started. The same goes for its reset pusher. What's interesting is that you get a split time function as well as the capability of measuring two consecutive times. So that I would say is an added benefit. The loom isn't much to shout about here. It glows quite brightly initially, but fades quite quickly as well. Definitely not dive watch level loom. It does not have a screw down count, which is again common for pilot style watches, but the operation is pretty smooth. The RV8 logo is etched into the crown, which is a nice touch. It has a screw-in case back that has a large logo engraved into it as well, and I do quite like the logo. It is a mix of polished and bead blasted, which is again a nice addition. The two-stitch leather strap that comes with it is suitably thick, and it is a light shade of brown. It is not the softest strap out there, and definitely would require some breaking in. The buckle has the Aviate wording on it, always good for branding. Here you can see the watch on my 5 and 3 quarter inch wrist. If you know me, I actually don't mind large watches. However, I would have to say that this watch being square and 45 millimeters is definitely a little bit too much for me. I definitely don't um, 
have anything against large watches and for those who actually do like large watches I think this would be something that um, they would be very happy about and also the trend that what people are saying um, the small watches are coming back and the big watches are going out of trend it might be true among some watch fans but generally among the general public I would have to say that there are a lot of people who still really like large watches so there yeah, this might be for you or this might not so it really depends on whether you like large watches or not well that's been quite a good hike my final thoughts on the watch at 280 US dollars and with the discounts that RV8 has from time to time I think it's quite a okay price for a chronograph quartz watch I think you're paying more for the design as well as its unique and complex style which cannot be cheap to manufacture I really do wish it came with a sapphire crystal though and like I mentioned earlier it's a really large watch it really depends on a, I think it really caters to a specific market and you might or you might not like the watch. Overall, it's not bad. I think it's an um, okay buy. And I would like to thank Avi again for sending this watch over. And that's my frank opinion of the watch. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. And if you do, please subscribe as it really does help me. And I really would love to uh, produce more videos in the future. See you guys in the next video.